Welcome to the stock workout where we flex on the market to make gains. In this video we're going to be talking about Okigen ticker symbol OCGN. Now the price action has been pretty erratic this week uh, so we're going to be taking a look at the charts and we're going to take a look at what the Nasdaq has done on a whole that will just be a brief uh, segment of the video and then we're going to continue going through the price action for Okigen but before I get into it if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and show some support we are well on our way to 1k subscribers so shout out to all of you that have subscribed and shown support now Ocugen, what has been going on? We saw this huge sell-off in the past week. Um, we broke through previous resistance levels um, and then had a sell-off and we saw the stock price break through uh, support levels too. Now, a previous support I identified was this $9.18 range, which we just broke completely through um, and were unable to break above that again. So I'm just gonna get rid of that because that now is irrelevant and where is the price going so we had this huge sell-off and then we did recover slightly uh late hours on thursday and the friday and we did close on friday at eight dollars 75 now i do think this is a good thing uh, i'm still not worried about this i do have skin in the game i hold this stock i'm not worried about this it's closed at eight dollars 75 but it picked up off the low so what i've done is i've just extended that fib retracement that i previously drew and as you can see um previously just get rid of that as you can see uh previously the resistance level was at this nine dollars 82 range and we did break above that however we weren't able to hold uh we saw this huge sell-off uh midweek sort of beginning to midweek we saw this huge sell-off but good news is is we held this 78 percent fibonacci retracement at eight dollars and eight cents so this acted like a previous support here on the 7th of May and we bounced off this again on the 13th of May. So this is the hourly chart I've got up. Uh, good time to mention as well, I've got the 21 day EMA, the 50, 100 and 200 day moving averages. I've got the volume and RSI on the screen too. And as you can see, I've drawn this uh, fib retracement. This is a continuation from my last video and $8.08 .08 is the line of support that we bounced off, which is a a good thing price recovered from there and went up to eight dollars 75 now where's the next line of resistance next line of resistance would be that 61 percent fibonacci retracement which comes in at nine dollars 82 which i will just mark on the chart as well so there's your first line of support and there's your first line of resistance but why am i bullish on this so i'm going to point something else out to you so if i get rid of this fib retracement right now as you can see here we have a double bottom so what I've done here is I've just highlighted this double bottom. So previously, um, in the beginning of May, we did see the price come down, bounce off this $8.08 .08 range. Uh, we weren't able to break through, so the price came down again, and we bounced off this $8.08 .08 range, eight cents range again. So we have a double bottom here, solid line of support at $8.08, .08, and now we have picked up, and the price went up to $8.75. Now what we are expecting is that this price carry on and push through this next line of resistance at $9.82 um, but currently we do have a double bottom formation which is why I'm bullish on this stock and uh, hopefully it's great things to come we are still waiting on that EUA uh, we are still waiting on the catalyst so that is something to keep an eye out on but a double bottom formation is good to see at this point now, when we did see this huge sell-off this week, um, that would have been attributed to the NASDAQ on the whole. Um, as you can see, in the NASDAQ, we did the price of everything just cratered. The NASDAQ just cratered on a whole. There were huge sell-offs um, and a lot of it was due to uh, worry about inflation. Now, me personally, I'm on that side of the card that is not worried about inflation. So uh, I put my hands up to those of you <laughs> that are worried about it. But uh, me, I'm not, not worried about inflation at all. I don't think it's uh, that big of a deal to worry about um, for tech stocks to be affected as heavily as they are. We are on track to have a huge recovery um, after COVID sort of dies down a bit, after we start recovering from this COVID pandemic. Vaccination drives are being pushed around the whole world. So hopefully that is going to happen uh, in the near future. We will recover from this pandemic. 
and hopefully OCGN get their uh, vaccine on the US market ASAP too, talking about the pandemic. Um, but basically, yeah, so the Nasdaq did uh, crater. If I draw this uh, info trend line, you can see that from the week starting till the low point so where we opened until the low point uh we lost nearly six percent so we lost six percent in a matter of days um huge sell-off across the board everything was going down um and then we did pick up on this is when wednesday thursday and friday and friday was a brilliant day we did see huge great gains in uh friday and friday uh sort of closed we were down on the week what uh minus what's that minus 1.42 percent so we're down for the week minus 1.42 percent but from the six percent we did minus six percent we did recover all the way back up to minus 1.42 so overall on the week we are down however we did recoup a lot of them losses now what what about this uh 21 day ema so the 21 day ema crossed below the 50 and the 100 day moving average now the as you can see here these candlesticks did dip below the 200 day moving average and we recovered straight away and so through this recovery as well that 21 day ema crossed back above the 100 day moving average and it is just touching this 50 day moving average right here so that's another good thing that's another good indicator so we were down on the week um so everything was pretty much down on the week which is why you would have saw, saw this uh saw this huge sell-off uh for okigen stock as well and as the nasdaq did pick up later on in the second half of the week uh so did the okigen stock but again okigen stock double bottom right here we are looking for a push through this uh nine dollars 82 is your next level of resistance so we do want to see a push through that and eight dollars eight cents is the current support that we have bounced off twice now on this hourly chart the 21 day ema has crossed below all three moving averages the 50 100 and 200 day moving averages you can sort of see it behind uh all this the 21 day ema has crossed uh below all three moving averages what we also do want to see is that 21 day ema cross above these three moving averages and you know if the price does follow this trajectory uh with this double bottom um then we will most likely see it cross back over the rsi is currently sat at pretty much neutral it's sat at 50.77 so that is bang on neutral so one thing that we do want to see is a pickup in the volume. See, the volume on Friday was 42 million uh, and the average 10 day volume has been 107. But the average 10 day volume has been quite choppy because you've seen huge sell offs here, pick up here, uh, sell off again. So we do want to see the volume increase and that will hopefully reflect in an increase in that share price. And just keep an eye out for that $9.82 range. That is our next level of resistance. But uh, once again, guys, any catalysts do come through that will push this stock to, to, to new places. Uh, catalysts, you know, trump everything else. It will go over everything else. So that's it for this video. Double bottom formation here. Brilliant. That's a bullish indicator right there. It's a bullish signal there. Uh, Oxygen stock. I've got skin in the game. My whole shares in this and me seeing this double bottom. I am excited to see that. Um, if you if you appreciate that, drop the video a like. Um, I've got a new mic, so drop it in the comments uh, if you think this mic is better than my previous one. Um, obviously you guys seeing it will be able to reflect on uh, what the volume's like and whether it's clear and everything. Also smash that subscribe button, we are well on our way to 1k subscribers and I will see you on the next one.